Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today we're bringing you guys episode number 13 of Hut Roulette. And the last episode, unfortunately, we ended off with a loss, which means we have to restart that buy now minimum back at 50. And hopefully we can win the next couple games uh, so we can get to Division 3, as well as uh, raising that buy now minimum to 1k and 2k this episode. So first of all, I made some line changes. I read some of your comments, and I went with Nicholas' comment to change up the lineups. And here's how the new team looks like. Blake Wheeler, Bergeon, and Rick Nash on the first line. Forsberg, Perot, and Lucic on the second. Glenn Cross, Johnson, Marlowe on the third. As well as Simmons, Boyle, and James Neal on the fourth line. And going into the defense too, we did a little bit of a revamp. Uh, Garrison is on the first line left defenseman playing alongside with Cromwell. Uh, we're going to be keeping Cam Ward in net just for now. Uh, and we'll put in Kari Lennon and uh, Roberto Luongo a little bit later. But for right now, I want to put in Cam Ward for at least one game to try out his card. Second line, we got Mark Stahl. Dougie Hamilton as the line pairings, as well as Jake Garner and Jack Johnson on the third line, giving us another pairing right there. So anyways, we're going to get right started into the first game here. Let's see what we can do, and hopefully we can win this first game. Alright, here we go guys. The first game's about to begin. He's got Ryan O'Reilly, Wayne Simmons, and Michael Bodker on his first line. So let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do. No, how did that go in? Mark Stahl puts it into his own net, and now we're down one to nothing. Come on, we need to get that goal back. Oh, there's a break. Come on, Forsberg. Come on, come on, come on. Double backhand, double backhand, double backhand. No, how did I mess that up? Oh, man, I haven't played any chill in a while. That's probably why I couldn't score that breakaway. What a goal right off the faceoff. Oh man, what a nice set play. We win it back right to the defender. He gets a shot on net, passes it actually back first, gets a shot on net, and then we tuck it in with James Neal, the Johnson brothers, getting the uh, assist right there. Not really the Johnson brothers, but we tie it back up one to one. Let's keep it up. Oh, Milan Lucci, sauce it over. Oh, nice sauce. Oh, I could have gone right through the five hole of Luongo, but still, that was a nice save. No, and he gets it right back. How did he get that pass off? Tyler Toffoli making no mistake right there. Making a 2-1 to one now in the first period. Come on, we got to get that goal back. All right, and that is pretty much going to be the end of the first period. Uh, not too bad of a first period. I thought I got a lot of chances. 16 to 4 in shot. 3 minutes time on attack to 1 minute and 53 seconds. Didn't even know I got that many shots in the first period. But we got to keep it going now. We need to convert on our chances. Oh no, oh nice save Cam Ward, Jesus, I just cannot pick up the puck right now. Yes, there it is, Curtis Glencross with a goal, that's what I'm talking about. Putting him on the third line was a little bit better than putting in a James Neal, but so far, 2-2 two to two now in the second period, let's keep it up. Oh, right up to Simmons. Go! The double back in! No! Oh, in front! What? How'd that go in? I thought the play was over, but still, James Neal, I think that's his second of the game? I'm not 100% sure. Right after, uh, what's his name? Curtis Glenn cross scores a goal. James Neal gets one right back, and that is his second goal of this game. Pretty crazy what Glenn Cross and Neal are doing right now. Yes! How did that even go in? Philip Forsberg with a nice little backhander beats Roberto Luongo and that makes it 4-2. to two. That is a pretty nice lead to have. Oh, nice little goal. He drags it back with a... I think that was David Perron. He makes it one goal less, making it 4-3 to three now. We gotta make sure we tighten up a little bit more defensively. Cannot give up those goals now. No, come on. Oh, Jesus, I missed the flying poke check, but still. 
I don't know how that bounced over our, our defender's stick and he gave him a breakaway. Come on, pass it out. Come on, Rick Nash! Oh, Rick, he got to score that. Oh, no. No, 35 seconds. Yes, what a save by Cam Ward. That is what I'm talking about. Bailing us out in the final seconds. That could just save us the win. Oh, and there is the win. Big save by Cam Ward. A big goal by James Neal. And that means we are going to get a win for this game. I don't know why I was changing my uh, lineups there. But we won the Division 4 title. Let's take a look at how many coins we get this uh, division. 2,500 coins. So we get a total of 3,500 coins for that win. And let's take a look at the stats here. 28 to 13 in shots. 8 minutes and 15 seconds time on attack to 6 minutes and 7 seconds. And the 3 stars, David Perron and his team getting the 1st star. James Neal on our team getting the 2nd star. And Philip Forsberg racking in 2 points getting the 3rd star. So anyways, let's raise that buy now minimum to 1,000 and choose the 28th player. I'll meet you guys there. And welcome back to the auction search page. So everything is ready to go. The buy now minimum has been set to 1,000. The collection type has put, been put onto players. So let's choose the 28th player here and let's see what we get. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. David Krejci is going, going to be the next pickup on our team. A pretty nice 86 overall centerman in NHL 16. So let's buy him out, see where he fits in. Alright, so welcome back to the team. And I do apologize about any stuttering or any type of uh, hesitation in my speaking right now. I haven't commentated in quite some time, so you got to forgive me on that one uh, if I ever mess up with my commentary. But anyways, right now we have putting David Krejci into the second line, centerman taking out Matthew Pro out of the team. I feel like he's not going to really replace Boyle right now, but our team is looking a lot stronger with David Krejci on that second line center spot. So we're going to get right into the next game here. Let's see if we can get the second win in a row. All right, here we go, guys. New division, and <laughs> look at this. Stamkos, Mulgan, and uh, James Neal on his first line. So we got to be careful just a little bit. So let's get this game going. Let's see uh, what we can do. Oh, Rick Nash, he's got a break. Go, go, go. The b double backhand. And yes, there it is. A nice early goal by Rick Nash. And we make no mistake with the breakaway. One to nothing, two minutes into the first period. Let's keep it going. Oh no, I thought he was going to go for the pass, so I decided just to cut off the lane. But he makes no mistake with Carl Haglin. Oh man, I might have to change my strategies around for the third division. Doesn't seem like uh, my defensive strategies are working right now. Yes, there's a goal, a little cross creaser to get the lead back. And now it's 2-1 in the first period. Oh man, we're scoring a lot of goals. we got to just play a little bit better defensively. Alright, 2-1 first period. Let's keep it up. What? How'd that go in? What, what was that? How did that go in? Is that some type of glitch inside the game? I don't know what was going on, but Cam Ward. We might have to take him out for that one. What was that? Take a look at that shot. Slap shot. What? I still don't understand. How'd that go? He's holding on to the puck. What the fuck was that? Alright, let's take a second look. So, Larson shoots the puck. Okay, okay. Everything seems pretty normal. Goalie catches it, and then what? How does this go in? What? That's got that's the most bogus goal I've ever seen in my life. Come on! All right, so that is the end of the first period. Oh man, that that goal better not be a back backbreaker in the end of the game. But let's take a look at the stats: ten to seven in shots, three minutes time on two versus two minutes and nineteen seconds time on attack. So. Oh man, we gotta keep some good gameplay up. We gotta get that next goal for sure. Come on, let's get get it going. Oh, what? Rick Nash, how do you not get that one in? Find Bergeron. Let's see if we can find Bergeron on this play. There it is. Shoot! Oh, nice shot, but can't beat uh, whoever is in that. Corey Schneider, I think.
Yes, the water bottle popper. Blake Wheeler, what a goal and a snipe. And we make it three to two. That was a beautiful goal. Oh no, Milan Lucic. How'd you not get that one in? Shoot it! Oh, nice little save. I think that was an Eddie Lack in net as well. Come on. We're getting really close to scoring that insurance marker. What? Oh no. A scramble in, a fr in front of the net and Mulkin and Stamkos both help each other score a goal, tying it back up. Come on. Third period. We need that goal back. Yes, and there it is right back. Blake Wheeler with a slap shot. Pass from uh, Rick Nash, and they make no mistake. 4-3 to three now. Nice little cheeky goal. Yes, and there is a goal. I thought I would pull out the backhand for him, but I decided not to. Just shoot it with Bergeron, and uh, that was a hell of a shot. 5-3 to three now. Third period, we're up by 2. Oh, what a pass. Go, Marlo. Go, Marlo. You got him beat. You got him beat. The backhand forehand. Oh, no. How do we not score that goal? Oh, nice little pass to Tyler Johnson from Curtis Glencross. Finally, this line is pulling off some goals and assists. And I'm liking that. So, 6-3. to three, 24 seconds left. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of this game. Yes, and that is going to be the end of this game. The first win of Division 3. That's what I'm talking about. So anyways, let's take a look at the stats and we'll pick up that player. Alright, so A in offense, A in defense. That is definitely not too bad. Let's take a look at the game stats. 33 shots to 20. 10 minutes time on attack to 5 minutes and 48 seconds. I made sure that this game I had to win. And uh, we definitely... Uh, we got a pretty nice amount of uh, shots, a nice amount of time on attack. Let's take a look at the three stars as well. Blake Wheeler, two goals, one assist. Bergeron, two goals with two hits. And Rick Nash also picking up three points, one goal and two assists. Finally, some of the lines are clicking, which I'm actually liking. So, anyways, let's go choose that player and uh, we'll see if we can add him to the team. Alright, so everything is set once again, buy now minimum at 2,000, collection type on players, so let's choose the 33rd player, and that's going to be on the second page, and that's going to be the third player, so we're just going to go through it as fast as possible through the first page, and we're just going to get right into the second page here, and the third player we're going to be picking up is going to be, once this animation goes up, we're going to get Craig, oh man, that's a 33rd player, what are the chances, but we'll buy him out, and I will put him onto the team. Alright guys, so here is the final team update before we end off this episode. But I did take on Milan Lucic in the time being. And we're going to throw in Craig into the fourth line left wing spot. Playing alongside with Brian Boyle and Wayne Simmons. So uh, I have to play with Craig for at least a game. Uh, just to see how his card plays or if I want to use him over on Milan Lucic. I don't exactly know yet, but that will be for next episode of Hut Roulette. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Alright, come on, November packs, a 50k pack. Show us something special. Animus pack. Oh, I see. Oh my goodness. There it is. I see the new November card. Oh man. Yes, Bill Kessel. One of my favorite cards to use in this game.